let's talk about what shoe trends are happening or about to happen for 2023. Let's get started. I'm not sure if I should start off with one that's new or one that's like in continuation. Let's start with new. So a new one, I feel like it's new because I haven't really seen it that much, but it's definitely on its way back and it's coming back. It's the kitten heel, the little bitty heels. I don't think this is going to be sweeping the nation or anything like that, but kitten heel is like a very specific kind of heel. It's kind of cute and I feel like it's kind of dainty. I don't personally love walking in those. I've not had good experiences with that, but they do look really nice. I just love, I just really love a block heel. It's very comfortable. It's hard for me to deviate from that. I do have another heel though that's a shocking one that I actually really like. I'll share with you a little bit later. Um, but the kitten heel is coming back. So I expect to see this more in the springtime, but this is definitely one you might have in your closet that you can definitely bring back out because it's gonna be starting to come back and you'll start to see it a lot more. Are you kind of wondering when the chunkiness that we've been seeing for several years now is gonna like kind of go away? It's not this year, it's not in 2023. Actually, <laughs> it's the opposite in fact. Things are getting chunkier and larger, just even more chunky. Another one that I personally will not be partaking in, I can't do like some four inch platform. I think that's really cool if you can. I just feel like I would literally break my neck. It would not be good. I do love a little bit of a platform because I can't wear like a four inch heel anymore. It's just not part of my life. And so if I have a little bit of a platform and then a heel, I have only like a two inch heel, but the actual height can be like three inches. But the chunky boot, the chunky heel, the block heel, a platform, that is still very much trending. I don't really see us moving away from that anytime soon either because it is so much more comfortable than like a teeny tiny stiletto heel. This is one that just really has a lot of staying power. So now is a great time to talk about our sponsor and do you know who it is? <laughs> it's Steve Madden. Okay, Steve Madden, you know Steve Madden, I know Steve Madden, We've all, we all know Steve Madden. We've known Steve our whole lives. And they asked me to show some different ways I would style the boots that I have from Steve Madden. Also, I'll get to the looks in just a second, but Steve Madden's having a big sale starting, I believe it's today when this video airs. So I think the boots that I'm gonna show you are all on sale. I'm gonna link everything below and also some other ones that I found. I have four pairs of boots to show you and the first ones are knee high with a small platform. These look amazing with jeans and I was playing around with some different jackets, but I also love these with dresses and skirts. I feel like they give a more masculine vibe to the outfit and it looks interesting, but also cold weather appropriate. These next boots are called the Clayton and they are a chunky low heel and work great with boot cut or straight leg jeans, but I also really love this boot with dresses and skirts. So this is a boot style that I feel like would be on fashion influencers. It's super on trend and also it's really comfortable. Again, I love adding a more masculine shoe to a feminine dress. The next boot is a soft brown boot, which I love to wear to soften a look. So the brown has such a different feel than the black and gives these jeans and sweater outfits a much softer look. I also love this color boot to soften up a, up a dress that has black in it, like this one, and it looks more springtime with the brown. So I also like pairing these with brown bottoms because it creates a more streamlined look, a softer look, and I love this brown monochrome outfit right here. Now these ivory boots are going to be more of a statement boot in my opinion. So I like pairing white or ivory boots with my lighter wash denim. It looks much better than like black or something and using them as a focal point in my outfit. These are great for a unique look during the winter but also really great for spring. One of my favorite things to do with white or ivory boots is to pair them with an all black outfit. It makes such a statement but it's a really easy outfit to put together. I will link all of these boots below in the description box. I think they're all on sale. And I will also link some other ones that I found that I really, really love. They're all really cute and look comfortable and just amazing. <laughs> Enjoy. You're sitting there wondering, Anna, what, what kind of toe should I be wearing? The round toe or the almond toe or the pointy toe or square toe? Well, first of all, always wear whatever you love and makes you feel good, especially on your feet. You don't wanna be wearing anything that's uncomfortable. But I will tell you that the pointy toe is 
is really kind of on trend right now. And it's going to be even more trendy in 2023. I pointed out in one video, I think it was the Instagram fashion trends video that like super pointy is a really big <laughs> Instagram fashion trend. Are these all comfortable? Probably not. I did find a pointy toe that is shockingly comfortable. I will link it below. I actually wore it all over town, Christmas shopping, um, grocery shopping. I mean like all over the place and I have a bunion on my foot and it did not hurt. I was like, I wanted to cry. I was so excited. But anyway, I'll link that below in case you're interested in pointy toe. But I digress. Pointy toe, really big. That doesn't mean that you have to only wear pointy toes or something. Um, almond toe is still a really good choice and so is square toe. The thing that's like kind of not really on the forefront of fashion right now, like the round toe ballet flats, round toe boots, not combat boots or, you know, lace up boots or something. Those are always round toe. There's, that would look really strange if it was pointy toe. But, but what I'm talking about are like the regular boots like we would wear with our skinny jeans or something. The round toe, it's just, it kind of feels not fresh. An almond toe, square toe is going to be a little bit more current. This isn't life or death. If you love a round toe, keep wearing a round toe. But I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you for your, for your information, you do what you will with that information. <laughs> so this spring, you're also going to see very minimalist sandals. I really, really like this because I have humongous feet. So I love the really slim minimalist sandals. But you're definitely going to see just like a one little strap over to hold it to your foot or a toe strap something very minimalistic on your feet. So it's almost like you're walking barefoot, but you do have a very, you know, minimal amount of shoe on your foot. I think this is really nice, very like bohemian. I love it with like sundresses and, you know, skirts and things over the summer and the spring. So this will be a fun one for spring when we get to that point in our lives. <laughs> We're not quite there yet, but I do feel like we'll be talking about them more as the year progresses. Lace up boots, like lace up taller boots. That is coming back. We've seen that already creep back up in fashion, but you're going to see more lace-up boots. And I mean like the taller ones, like taller knee-high lace-up boots. And you might see them worn with more dresses and skirts. Something like a really feminine dress or skirt can balance out the really masculine, like aggressive look of the lace-up boots. I really think that's a really nice combination that we will start to see more of. This one is a really fun one and um, I really like it. And it's interesting heels. That is probably not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it because it's like a regular shoe, but the heel on it is something really, really unique. Now this started coming back last year and I didn't really think it was going to be something that we saw in everyday life. Like, oh, maybe we see it in like designer shoes. I just, but I wasn't sure if we would really find a lot that was accessible to like a civilians, you know? Um, but, but it is, I really love this. I love that it's like a normal shoe on the top, but then the heel is something really special. I just feel like it adds so much interest to the shoe without making it super uncomfortable or super weird or hard to wear. Maybe some of these are kind of hard to wear, but for the most part, the heel is very sturdy and structured. It just looks different. Let me know what you think about these heels that are like in all kinds of weird shapes. Let me know if you like them or if that's something you really wanna try or if you're like, no, that's not for me. <laughs> metallic footwear, we've already been seeing a lot and metallic bags and metallic clothing and that kind of thing. And it's only going to continue into 2023. So metallic sandals, metallic heels, metallic boots. We've seen lots of metallic boots that are so beautiful. I really love those. I think it's Jimmy Choo that has one that's amazing. I don't think I could wear that for more than three steps, but I love looking at other people wearing it. <laughs> so this is a fun one too. I love the metallic. It's a great way way to just add something really interesting to even something really basic, like a, a basic solid classic black dress, but then you have metallic shoes, metallic boots, or metallic heels. I feel like it makes the whole look more interesting. How many times can I say interesting in this video? This next one I'm, you know, it's, it's coming back and I think it could be great in some styles, but it's the peep toe shoe. So I think we can all agree that when we had peep toe boots, like, what was that purpose? They're not gonna keep your feet warm, but they're a boot. They're just don't, I like what? That made no sense. But for the springtime, a good old peep toe sandal 
you know, that makes sense. And the peep toe is definitely coming back. I don't really know how big it's gonna be this year. It might be one of those things that kind of starts creeping in. And then next year in 2024, we're like, oh, peep toes, they're all over the place. Some of the peep toes, I just remember them like cutting off my toes in weird ways and kind of hurting. So we don't want that. Um, so we want some comfortable peep toe shoes. Clogs started coming back on the scene. I believe, believe it was last year or maybe the year before, but they are just gaining momentum and we see a lot more clogs now. A lot more brands are coming out with a lot of clogs and different styles of clogs and some that are more comfortable than they used to be and some that are uh, chunky and some that are not chunky. There's just a lot of versions of clogs coming out right now. It's a very specific look. So if you like that look, this is going to be a good time for you to find what you like in the clog world. Buckles have been kind of trending for a while. And so Mary Janes came back a little while ago and big buckles on Mary Janes are really big. Big buckles on boots or like moto boots have been big. I think it's Chloe that has a beautiful boot. It has some gold and some buckles. I love that boot. I'm gonna put it a picture on the screen because it's so cute. Buckles on ballet flats. So buckles are kind of a thing. I don't think that's something you should go out and search for, but it is kind of a cute little accent to a shoe. So those are some of the biggest shoe trends for 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the Steve Madden segment. Let me know what you think about all the shoe trends, what you're looking forward to, what you're not, what you're definitely not gonna be aware or what you're definitely really excited about. I've linked a lot of things below in the description box and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't and consider subscribing if you have not already and I will see you next time.